Welcome to the first major devlog of my Unity first person shooter game. So, this will be talking about everything that I've done so far, pretty much except for the prototyping stage. So that so that includes uh, weapons, maps, the simple maps, a uh, very simple AI, and most likely or not, post-processing. So I'll be talking about the newer things I've done and how I've modeled everything I've done. Alright, so what you're currently seeing is level 5. I've been working on this for around 3 weeks now. It's just a very simple level. So far, I only have one objective in it, it's just find health, and as we can see, I haven't actually textured the entire thing yet, so it still has to be textured, but I should get it textured in. Alright, I'll also talk about level 4 really quickly. So if you saw my level 4 teaser, you might know a little bit about this, but I have pretty much textured the entire thing, I retextured it all. So I've added a couple more new lights in, I've changed the Humvee model a little bit, I didn't actually have an original Humvee model in it, but now I do, and it has a turret on it. Uh, right now it looks like a turd, if I just disable the lighting and the post-processing, it kind of looks like a turd around the barrel, <laughs> that's just something I had to say. Um, we can see we have some VOAL assault fleet barriers, I haven't actually changed this model in a really long time but we also have some new hesco barriers so a long time ago i modeled some hesco barriers for the game they were really simple hesco barriers you might saw me if you watched my tutorial video not my my tutorial intro video or um my level two video maybe level three yeah if you've seen my level three video I decided to just remodel the entire thing, so it's much more detailed now than the original one, and this should help bring my game into the 21st century. So we can see these Humvee turrets again. I haven't swapped out the radar dish model yet, so I should be getting around to that soon. I, I actually already have the model modeled. Uh, my aliens are in heat posing right now because I haven't ran the game yet. Let me just go ahead and do that real quickly. Alright, so I can run. There's a flashlight. I don't think I've talked about the flashlight yet. But there's a flashlight. You can shine it and you can press F to turn it on and off. It works. There's AI. I don't think I've actually like made a standalone video on the AI yet, but it's not exactly that advanced. You can see that I have normal maps. Now, the older version of my game, which is actually the version that, that's out on my website, you can go check it out, I'll link in the description below. It didn't have normal maps, it didn't have specular maps, it didn't have any of that, it was just a gray texture. Um, so I've changed that, now there's things like normal maps and specular maps. We can see that we have these icons here for the weapon, we have these very simple lights. I haven't talked about post-processing yet, I don't believe, but anyways, I have some very simple post-processing. I bought a package on the Unity Asset Store, it allowed volumetric lights. I don't feel like pronouncing it off the top of my head here. Now, you have to stand in a very certain position for the alien to chase you. I don't know why. And everybody I've talked to said the aliens look like robots, so I, I hope they don't look like robots in the final product, but they shouldn't. And we've transitioned to level 4. I'm actually going to stop playing here. Uh, let's go on to level 2. This, you should remember this one if you've watched my level 2 trailer, or maybe it was gameplay footage, I can't remember. But I've pretty much revamped all the textures. I added this, um, I don't know what to call it, trust texture I guess. It just is a black texture with some X's going through it. And I've added this gray texture which appears in pretty much every level of the game. It 
It pretty much does. Like, every level I've created so far has that texture in it. We can see some more VOA all of Salt Sweet Barriers here. And if I actually play the game and turn on post-processing and all that, we can see that there's some red lights going up. This thing we find that's under attack. We have some specular maps here. Now, I've never really played around with specular maps until now, and I actually think they're quite cool. Um, I, I don't know if anybody has found this yet, but there's ammo here. I don't even think I talked about it in my, or showed it to you in my level 2 gameplay footage. But if I just go ahead and run it, we have to wait for it to load. But once it does, we can see that's really dark. We have the specular maps. We can see that it says handgun, like so. And we have this ammo here. I actually removed the ammo normal map from the ammo crate because I thought it looked really ugly. And I knew pretty much nothing about normal maps at the time I made it. But no, I know a little bit more. Uh, so we can see that there's some red lights going off because this ship is under attack from some aliens. We can just go ahead and restart the game real quickly. Pick up the handgun again. And grab some ammo. And go on to here. So we can see all my gorgeous texture work. It's kind of pretty. It's not like revolutionary, but it's pretty good for a beginner. Um, we have these lights up here. I'm making a big deal out of lights. We can fight the aliens. Why so many spawn? I don't know, but... I actually honestly have no idea why so many aliens spawn. I'm doing up dying before. <laughs> okay, no I didn't. I didn't die. Okay. Um, we can see this escape pod. Modeling this escape pod was actually pretty challenging even though it looks really simple. Not The modeling part w wasn't the hard part, it was actually concepting it out, but pretty much after that it was set. So I'm going to stop playing here and show you my level 1, which is the one where you're on a spaceship, a different spaceship. Um. I honestly don't know why this is so bright. I don't remember it being this bright in the original one. I think it has something to do with the volumetrics, but I'm not quite sure. We can see all my gorgeous texture work here. I think the texture distortion around the edges of the game has something to do with the post-processing. I'm not really sure, but it's always subject to change if I decide I don't want that. Uh, this is the cockpit. It's not really detailed that much. I'm planning on fixing that. And we can see the second engine room that just is a glowy light. <laughs> with a cylinder to it. Alright, there's a survival level. Let me just save that real quickly. I didn't make give any changes, but... I just don't like saving it. Um, so... I don't even know when I <laughs> made this level. I haven't done any texture work on it at all. So this is what I'm talking about. It's just gray boxes everywhere. And the lighting isn't exactly that good. And this pistol model here is an old model. Yeah, it's the next gen pistol. Let me just swap that out real quickly. Pistol. Uh, next gen pistol. Nope, maybe it's the... Uh... Hand. I'll find it later off camera, but once I do, I'll make an update video. Uh, Unity's doing this weird thing where it like thinks the texture is a different texture, so it like flips it. I fixed it in the other scene by going into the prefab data and just like pretty much opening it up. If I can figure it out. Oh, open. Yeah, and that pretty much fix it. Uh, but I don't know why it does that. Uh, there's four alien spawns. There's one over here in the top left. One down here 
in the bottom left, uh, top right, and bottom right. They all spawn there. I'm not going to do a gameplay video on this one just yet, but it should be coming out soon. Uh, so we can go check out the tutorial level now. So, I don't remember if these tanks were here in the original gameplay video that I posted. I recommend you go check that out. It should be under the name like level 4 gameplay video or something. We have something I modeled myself. It's just really a gray cylinder. Or sphere, I mean. With a volumetric light in front of it. It follows a really simple path, so if I press play we can see that the path it follows. You know, we can see that it follows the path. I made the path system by following a Sebastian Leg video. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but that's how I made that path system. And it just follows a path. So we have some of the targets here. Very simple targets. This was actually one of the first models I imported into my game. So they have it had an update in quite a long time. This table, this took me like three seconds to model. I'll, I'll eventually change it. <laughs> eventually. We have some fencing here. This is just a really simple image. I can actually open it up real quickly in GIMP just to show you what it is. It's really just a gradient. Yeah, it's really just a simple gradient so I Created it by using the gradient tool and just set the foreground color to white and then did foreground to transparent and then just dragged it up. And it gave it a color in Unity by using the emission. And once we actually pick up the handgun, this thing actually turns off. And I've once again textured these poles here even though you can't see them. In regular gameplay because it's the post-processing on this map's weird. Um, I've textured this room. I want to add like a back area to this room where there's like an area behind it. But that'll probably never happen. Just due to like time constraints and I really don't feel like it. Uh, these concrete barriers. Um, I, I don't actually know why I modeled them. They're just rectangles with an edge coming out of them they took me like three seconds to model really did not take that long at all i added a particle system under this drone here it just makes it look like it's hovering even though it's kind of ugly I'll, i want to get better with the unity particle system i really do want to uh ui i haven't talked about ui at all so let me just go into 2D view here and zoom all the way out. Like so. So we have this. Let me actually select the correct one. We have this border. It's masking out all the children of it. That's why you get like this weird look whenever the text is really small. But um, yeah, when the text is like really big, that really isn't a problem because it takes up so much space on the object itself. This bullet icon isn't actually getting masked out just due to it would be getting cut off here. Yeah, I can actually show you what it would look like if I masked it. It'd just be a rectangle. And trust me, rect rectangles aren't exactly that cool. This is actually what the text would look like if it wasn't being masked. This is actually what it looked like in the original before I did the text mesh pro update. Yeah, I took every text in my game and just swapped it out with text mesh pro. So as you can see, I've done a lot to this game and talked about it a lot. You probably don't get this much from just a regular mini devlog video but when i'm actually sitting down and talking to you guys it i can get a lot more information out than just a really short video with some music 
So if you want to get the early access version of this game, I'll link it in the description below. It's not public on the itch.io marketplace. I have recently done an update to my website, which makes it feel just a little bit better to use. And you can actually tell that the download link is a link. And so go check it out. Be sure to subscribe to never miss another VOAL devlog. Leave a like. Leaving a like helps get this video recommended to others. And share this video with a person who might be interested in this game. Just one more thing before I go. Vortis Alpha is pretty much a series. I can actually pull up the Google Documents page real quickly. So we have Vortis Alpha The Fallen Mars. This is pretty much a zombie survival game still in the concept phase. There's a Rebel's Fury. This is meant to be like, just kind of like a small add-on to VOAL. And then there's a Robot Velix, or Velix, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, this is an idea for RTS game. Uh, I've actually started work on it, I just haven't, I'm nowhere near finishing it though, since there's like, a, at least 10 maps, there's like, three factions, there's several sub-factions, there's, it's pretty much the next Command and Conquer. But if there's anybody who might be interested in my series of games, share this video with them, and subscribe and like, and fun newber out!